brothers and sisters. Um, we are in the first stage or the first day of celestial events um, where the energy is extremely powerful right now. Um, when we talk about celestial events, all right, we said there's going to be 30 days of different isolated celestial events. The thing about these celestial events is those who are in, who are spiritually inclined, you will know what happens. Those of you who are not, well, can somebody please tell me what's going on? What's supposed to be happening? The whole thing about it is you have to be spiritually in tune to know what's going on. All right? And this is the part of helping you to grow where you become in tune and say, okay, I know what's, I see what's happening. I know how this is happening now. I know what's, what's, I know what's going on right here and I know what to do. So we have 30 different isolated celestial events. Right now, I'll just let you know, the first celestial event that's, that, that happened, actually happened um, after midnight, all right? Like we said, we're using their calendar, we're using their, um, their system, all right, as mile markers. There was a huge solar storm last night, extremely powerful solar storm that happened last night. All right, um, and it led it led on into today. Each of these celestial events will uh, build upon each other, and this is what you know. This is how our ancestors built. You know, that's why you know I was like, you know, I was I was like, um, I'm gonna build a pyramid on the east side. Gonna build a pyramid over here. I'm gonna do this over here. I'm gonna do. And, and mother was like build in one area and once you get that area perfected you build in another area so i got a lot more building to do in that area what i'm dealing with okay because this is how this is how energy does when energy builds up energy builds onto the energy that was already there so you have 30 different levels of extremely powerful energies that are being um built within this realm, inside of this realm, all right? We are inside a realm. The realm is a, is a circle of, uh, it's like a, a, a paradigm. It's, it's, it's a dimension. It's an area of reality. So the first one that happened is solar. And I'll let you know, the next day uh, will be a lunar event. All right, so we're looking at Saturday, and this was a huge solar storm. Um, then we're looking at Sunday. Um, we're looking at a lunar event that's going to take place. And then I'll just let you know on Monday, there will be an event dealing with uh, Saturn. As a timekeeper, it is important that um, certain levels of intelligence becomes imported into your vessel so that you can operate on some of the highest frequencies known. And it is important that timekeepers remain in balance. Say in balance, what are we talking about? We're talking about we gotta make sure that um, you're, we always say balance all the time. We gotta make sure that you're not too physical, that you have no spiritual good. You gotta make sure that you're not too spiritual, or you have no physical good. That's when you get the brothers and sisters who talk about, I need to remove myself from this family because they not on my level, and they not this, and they not that. There is no level to be on if you're not in balance with yourself, all right? That's that whole Christianity thing where they literally taught us how to separate ourselves from our own brothers and sisters. 
that's what they did. They, they taught us how to separate ourselves. They taught us how to um, uh, make ourselves estranged to our own kinfolk. We don't want to do that. All of you who are tapping into the spiritual realm, you are literally changing things on or in this realm. You're changing things in this realm. And this is why these powerful events are taking place. Now, it is important, brothers and sisters, that you understand, understand, overstand that you have to delve into different levels of technology. This is where your power is. All right. Yes. Many of you say, OK, yeah, I'm, I got I, I you know, I, I, I want to link it to my body. I want to link it to my spirit. I'm linking into my soul. Many of you say that. All right. But the whole key point is that you have to have got to delve into some type of technology because every one of our ancestors were deep into technology. All right. Because when you start talking about the ancient ways of sorcery, sorcery dealt with so much. All right. When you look at Star Wars, and you look at them lightsabers, that was sorcery. That was technology. All right? You look at the, the laser guns that were used, that was sorcery. That was technology. All right? You, you, when, you, when you start delving into this type of information, you start bringing about a power within you. All right? This is just knowledge of the ages. That's all. This is just some knowledge kicking out for you. You have to remember that your body is an extremely powerful organism that is designed to literally captivate and harness every level of energy out there. This is why the Saxons want to create devices to try to harness this energy because their bodies are not designed to harness this energy. Our bodies are designed to harness this energy. So as these celestial events take place day by day, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be harnessing this energy. As we harness this energy, this energy comes to us and it gives us different uh, 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 information on different levels of intelligences and technology. Therefore, what we do is we literally uh, indulge in what we learn and we begin to uh, uh, create and design things on paper as did our ancestors and then we find ways to build the structures see this these these celestial events are not just happening for it to happen these celestial events are taking place for your growth metaphysically spiritually physically mentally soulfully this is all designed for your growth. This is designed for you to be the me, the I'm sorry, the most powerful energy, the most powerful force ever known. So it's important, brothers and sisters, that you indulge in this. These celestial events that's happening. You have 30 different celestial events. All right, 30 different extremely powerful celestial events that are going to be taking place on up to calendar day, November 21st of the calendar year 2023 that will lead on up to the gates of Hades. As these celestial events take place, go into your state of meditation, tap into the spirit realm. You will see what will take place, all right? You will see what will take place. You will be able to recognize the energy. You'll be able to recognize the event that is taking place and your soul will match with this energy. And it is important that you carry out the whole, the, the, the whole duty of, okay, let me see about building this. Let me see about creating this. Let me see about designing this. Because it's all about technology. Because this is who we are. We cannot allow an enemy to continue to uh, preside over us 
knowing that they are not supposed to be in existence in this realm at all. So it is our duty as the original beings to carry out the duties of the most powerful beings and we, we, the originals, rise. It's extremely powerful. All right. So you have 30 different days, different celestial events is happening, which means that you have got to tap into different. You got to go into it and, and, and tap into different things, different levels of technology. Now, as you go through these days, what, are they, what what's happening? This energy is will be giving you information on how to build a device. Each one of you will be getting different types of information. All right. And you uh, 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 you can meditate with a selenite crystal or either you can meditate with a quartz crystal. All right. Put it around your neck because you're going to be getting information and you may get just like you hear the voice of one and say you need this or you need that. And as soon as you get that, and if you're if you're in a in a half sleep, half awoke state, wake up real fast, write it down. Okay? Wake up real fast and write it down because you'll be getting information on parts on building a device. Okay? This is what this is all about. See, this celestial energy is not just celestial energy, it is information being brought to us. This is one thing these Saxons cannot control. They cannot control the information that's coming in to us. And it is important that we, as the original beings, it is important that we begin to understand that our part is to deep go is to go deep into technology. Our ancestors were deep into technology. This is why we are so feared because our levels of technology, when we create devices, these are devices that only we can operate and no one else can operate. These devices have lots of power. They create different levels of defense. They, they, they're, they're extremely powerful weapons. All right. Such as the lightsaber, such as that, uh, the, the plasma shield, such as the laser gun, such as the plasma sword. I mean, this, this, this is so powerful. So you, so these 30 days of the celestial events will be giving you 30 different types of information on how to create and build certain devices and structures. All right. We're the only beings who can harness this energy. We are the only beings who can harness this energy. Nobody else, no other species on this planet can harness this energy, but us. And we must take advantage of this. All right. We got to take advantage of it because when as you get in these instructions and as you start to create and you start to design and you start to build, you begin to open up gateways of power. See, when you when you when you act on what you learn, gateways open. All right. That's why the whole thing, faith without works is dead. Faith is your inner belief, your inner strength, your inner energy. All right. But if you don't put any work toward it, that inner belief, inner, inner energy, inner strength, inner power, whatever, is dead. So I got the, 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 the information on a pyramid. I built the pyramid. I got information on some other things when that, that device is in, that's going to go inside the pyramid. I created the device. See, everything you create opens up a gateway. And this is why, you know, this is what these, these, these inorganic beings really, uh, this is what they realize. This, this is really what they realize because they realize that when we create things, things shift, the energies shift in the realm. See, we are inside of a realm. And this is a realm of power. This is a realm of energy. So they feel like if they can create something to upset the dynamics of our 
celestial molecular structure, then they can have some time for uh, uh, an elongated time for existence. Now that we are in this awakened state, we are understanding that we must do things according to what or according to how we were designed. See, we were designed to create higher levels of technology. We were designed to be rulers of galaxies and universes and star systems, rulers of the cosmos, rulers of planets, solar systems. But it's all through technology. It's all through technology. All right. Don't think that we were sitting around as these Saxons want us to think that we were sitting around killing animals and feasting all the time. No, we were creating technology. All right. We who you'll call the gods constantly creating technology. That's why, you know, these what they call the world fairs and they saw acres and acres of building with extremely high levels of technology. They would and say these buildings have been here for thousands of years and we had created we were creating more and building more because this is our land. This is our planet. And we created the technology. Remember, we said early on, you said you have to build the power that you desire. So this information was coming from what they call the heavens. It's coming from the heavens. And we're in our state of meditation. And we begin to build. And we begin to create. We begin to design. At the same time, we had good times with our families, with our friends. We laugh, we talk. We had some entertainment. Yes, Shakespeare was a brother. Yes, they made Beth and all that. They, yeah, they did playwrights and all those things, you know, so we can sit up and we had a little entertainment. You don't think that we didn't have some level of television. Where you think they get television from? They just didn't create it. We had already had it when they got here. See, th this is who we are. We are, we are literally the, 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 the creators of the greatest levels of technology ever. So these 30 days of these different celestial events, you go into your state of meditation if you want to do your psychedelics, do your psychedelic. If it's going to help you to gain certain levels of intelligence, do it. Just don't overdose on it. Please don't overdose on it. Know your limits. All right. You want to do that? That you do that. If you're going to do your marijuana, which is also psychedelic, whatever you're going to do. But you got to gain this information each day. It's a different day. When they talk about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and say Sunday, then, then they say it comes back to Monday. M Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday does not exist in nature in the cosmos. That is the virus program that want us to believe that, oh, yeah, each day is a different day. Each day is a different energy. Each day has a different celestial power. Each day literally runs on a different um astrological energy each day and we have to be in tune to this we got to bring ourselves into uh becoming in tune to what is happening around us once we come once we get to that level of, of, of being in tune we will understand the greater good of who we are and what we're supposed to be doing all right this is extremely important. So today was the first celestial event that took place, which we had a powerful solar storm early on. And right now there are some powerful solar events that's happening right now. These Saxons are going to try to keep up their agenda because they want to. Oh, is October. October doesn't exist. And it's going into November. November doesn't exist. And when December gets here, December doesn't exist. You see, they try, they're steadily trying to make this whole winter thing and all this other garbage because this is because they don't know. They, they're not designed to move forward. 
They're not designed to evolve. So we have to evolve them out of existence. So as we go into this, this, this different stages of learning the different levels of technology, we evolve. And as we evolve, they literally become extinct. Our evolution is their demise. So the, the small amount of us who are evolving, we're changing everything, brothers and sisters. All right. So I just want to share that with you all. It's just knowledge of the ages, some knowledge for you guys to understand how things are work. In the meantime, you'll start understanding who you are. You'll start understanding what position you hold. Everybody's not a sorcerer. Some of you are knights. Knights are dark energy warriors. Some of you are, 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 are what you call duchess. Some of you are um, um, witches. Some of you are rooks. All right. Some of you are kings. Yes. Some of you are queens. Some of you are. are pri I am a prince. But I'm, I'm going to tell you this right here. The true kings and queens are on uh, some crazy high level celestial energy and they're not even in the physical realm. The prince and the princesses uh, are on the physical realm, but those who are the kings and the queens, they're up there. They're, they're, they're up there. They're what you, they're the parts of what you call the, the Supreme Cosmic Councils. You know, you can't see them, but you can hear them as they talk to you. Yeah, so, you know, those of you who want to say, yeah, I'm a king. No, your level of, of, of intelligence has got to become extremely powerful. And you have to be ready to actually know the thing about it. It's not you, you don't you don't even die. That's the thing about it. When you talk about beings like that, you don't die. You you literally um, transform and transmute into a completely different realm. You just like disappear like boom disappear and go but you're up in the higher realm but you're still in your same body you still have your same there but you you have become an immortal being and the celestial energy is so powerful in that area that you don't have to eat because your body has always been fed because when you talk about the celestial you talk about the cosmic our bodies are full, fully metal. It's full metal bodies. And when you're up there in the cosmos, your body is being fed. There's no food up there. No, there, there's no food up there. The only food that's up there is is literally the, the, the energies throughout the cosmos. And when you talk about cosmic rays and cosmic energies, they're full of metallic energies. There's no sickness. There's no death. It's only life. It's only power. You know, extremely high levels of consciousness that goes beyond the, the scope of your understanding on this uh, physical level. So it's important that you understand that um, you tapping into this energy, finding your position. All right. Different positions. Like I say, everybody's not a sorcerer. Some of you are wizards, some of you are rooks. Rook's extremely powerful. Some of you are deacons. Some of you are bishops. Yes. You know, extremely powerful beings. Some of you are, 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 are warlocks and witches. Yes. You know, some of you deal with uh, frequencies and vibrations, which you call sound, music. Yes, that's what you deal with. And then what you do is you, you create it and you create the music, but you create it to be a complex type of music. That only you can do and no one else. When you start getting into um, Bach and and all those other uh, Paco Bell, those are brothers and sisters. There were no Saxons who could do that. The Saxons can only imitate. They, they, they whitewashed everything. But these brothers were so powerful because we already had pianos. And when they played the piano, the piano, it was like, you know, it was like damn near magic. The violins, the, the horns, the, the drums. I mean, this, this is who we are. So you increase your levels of each day. Each day. Each day is a different celestial energy. A different celestial event. And you tap into this. 
All right. You tap into this energy and you will gain certain levels of knowledge and intelligence. And each day you will get an information. Get this, get that, get this crystal, get that metal. All right. And the information that you you be given will be given to you and they will you and, and, and those who are on high understand and know that there's certain things that you can't get. So they will tell you the things that you that you need to get so that you can build certain things. If they send you some money, don't go spend the money foolishly. They will send you money to get certain things that you need to get in order to build these things. Don't spend it foolishly. All right. So knowledge of the ages. The senior you know, information, brothers and sisters. All right. I catch y'all guys a little later. Because I'm going to stop being redundant. <laughs> All right. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings to make cash ring with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, cast is everything. As you get this information, brothers and sisters, each day for 30 days, at the end of 30 days, you should have 30 different levels of knowledge and information on what to do, and you should be able to create and build, and you will get the information, you will get the knowledge, you will get the vision. This is how it's supposed to be built. This is how it's supposed to work. You get this information, and you create it, you change things. Remember, we're the only beings who literally can open up gateways in this realm. As we begin to build and as we begin to create, we open up gateways. And these gateways become more powerful. See, this is what it, this is what energy does. Energy builds on top of the energy that's already there. So each day, and even though it's e these diff 30 different celestial events is happening, what's happening, the energy that came in builds on top of the energy that preceded it. And then that energy builds on top of that energy that preceded it. Until it's 30 different levels of energy. And then those energies combine together, create an extremely powerful source of force. All right, guys. All right. That's about all I got for right now. I catch you guys later. Much power to you all.